So without any more uh, verbiage, I will present our spiritual master. Jagatpate. We receive knowledge from the perfect person. When we receive knowledge from imperfect person, the knowledge is not complete. To touch water at the present moment. But the same water in the summer season will be very pleasing. So the water is the same, but due to uh, seasonal changes, Sometimes the water is very pleasing and sometimes it is very painful. So this material world, so long we shall remain in the material world, that is stated in the Bhagavad-gītā, Brahma-bhūta prasanna-atmā na sochati na kāṅkhati samas sarveshu bhūteshu mad bhakti labhati parāṁ <coughs> Brahma-bhūta means self-realized that I am not this body. I am spirit soul. This is the first realization, self-realization. This Krishna consciousness movement is educational movement. It is not a, a religious sentiment. It is a science. And we have got our books also. You have seen there is demonstration of the book. We have got already twenty books of four hundred pages each. And we are going on writing more books. The everything will be finished in eighty books. So if you want to know through science and philosophy, we have got our books. We can read. And even if you read the uh, complete set, it will take your whole life to finish it. But if you, if you cannot read or if you do not want to,
Now, if the intelligentsia of Australia cannot sit for half an hour and listen to a gentleman speak about love of God, it does not speak very well for you. We are simply not asking for disturbance. We are not asking for violence, but we'll meet violence with violence. We are not artificially pacifists. We are asking you to listen like gentlemen. We have come here in goodwill. We have come here not to cause any disturbance. So we ask you please to have that much respect for our spiritual master. Now at this time, if there is any questions about Krishna consciousness philosophy, not about fighting, we can go out in the street and fight and we can solve everything out there. We have come here to speak about spiritual matters. If we want to speak about spiritual matters, let's speak together, like brothers and sisters. Let's not cause disturbance. I have a, an ego, you have an ego. If you do something to flick off my ego, I may get mad. If I do something to flick off your ego, you get mad. So we'll go out into the street and set it like a cat and a dog? No. We're not here in this university to act like that. We're supposed to have raised above that platform. So please, we ask you to uh, present uh, sober questions to our spiritual master. Yes, sir? Well, he is coming, welcome. He shall welcome. <laughs> yes. It's very good news that this is his time. <laughs> Jesus had no reputation. He wore sandals and he was crucified between two thieves. He didn't carry flick knife. And your, <laughs> and your spirituality is on a, in a Rolls Royce, on a padded seat, and all the... And you're all in the money, you Christians. You want money. You rip off people in the streets. streets. Yeah, I don't want money. And, and you said, and you said violence with violence. And you said violence with violence. That's what you believe. Jesus turned the other cheek. And he's picked his followers to it. There are many ways to handle a problem. Lord Buddha also taught how to handle the problem. And Lord Jesus Christ also taught a way to handle Could we, could we, yeah. We had three questions. Maybe somebody else who have a question. <laughs> One question. Through, through serving God, we can. Yes, sir. Do you consider your movements the major form of enlightenment emanating from the United States today? <laughs> what, is your movement? What, what order of priority has your movement in the White House Psychological Warfare Department? The CIA? <laughs> and who and will, also, will you also be coming along to our July 4 demonstration again this year to try and fuck it up? and divert people away from taking up real political issues concerned with Australian independence. Right, we can answer one, one at a time. I can answer them for you if you like. Uh, our movement is not coming from the United States. If you have, if you have, if you have some paranoid uh, uh, stigma about uh, everything coming from the United States, well, that's your hang-up, not mine. Uh, second of all, uh, our spiritual master uh, he came to the United States to start this Krishna consciousness movement uh, because he got a because he got a free if he got a free ticket on a boat to go there and because it was the mercy of this one lady who gave him the free ticket on the boat he came to America on the orders of his spiritual master uh, this is the reason he came to America to start Krishna consciousness if you had sent him a free ticket he probably would have come to Australia first. Uh, he was a monk, he was a monk, a penniless monk in, in, in India, and he was trying to follow the orders of his spiritual teacher by spreading love of God. He's not trying to stop any kind of a political movement. Actually, he is trying to spark a revolution in consciousness. I think that uh, you are also interested in revolution. We are also interested in revolution also, but we are interested in the revolution which will help people to feel peace with themselves whether they're communist or Marxist or Leninist or whatever is you, you like, 